In this video, we're going to look at the intersect merge in PowerPoint. So let's add in some shapes. We're going to add in a circle and let me add in a star. And I'm going to align them so that the top of the star touches. Let's change the star a different color. Okay, I'm going to select the circle first and then I'm going to select the star. I'm going to go to shape format and we're looking at the intersect. Now what the intersect does is it deletes everything except where they overlap. So you can see where the star is overlapping the circle. If I go to intersect, watch what happens. You can see that everything is deleted except the part where the star is overlapping. So you see we have this overlap here where my mouse is moving around. This is the shape that we are then left with and then that circle joins up there around that edge. Now I selected the circle first and you saw the result. Let's select the star first, shape format, intersect. You see we get exactly the same thing because they're still only overlapping in exactly the same areas. The difference is the colour and it's like all the other merges. The shape you select first will determine the colour of the final shape. So the intersect merge erases all the parts of the shape that don't overlap. And you can have a play around with this if you add in more shapes. Let's add in three shapes. We'll add the circle, we'll add in a star, and let's add in a scroll, okay, or a flag. Now, what would happen if I select those objects? Let's have a look and see. Merge shapes intersect. What's happening? Why is it all disappearing? Well, think about what the intersect does. It erases all the bits except where they overlap. And at the moment, that star isn't overlapping with the flag. Let me just change the color of that so we can have a look. If I move it over now so that there are overlaps between all three and do the merge shapes intersect, you'll see that now all three shapes do intersect, so we do get a resultant shape. Of course, what you could do here is, although selecting all three to intersect doesn't give you anything, if you just select the two that are overlapping and go to Shape, Intersect, then of course those two shapes will follow the rules and you'll get the overlap. Similarly, I could select the star and the circle, merge, intersect, and I'm just getting the bit of those two where the circle and the star overlap. Everything else is removed.